Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Listen to that, watch this. That's when you know you got a nice anvil. And the, tint, the ring of it. And there's actually one like this on eBay for over a thousand bucks. I wouldn't give it up for five thousand. Oh, maybe I'll think about it. So anyway, <laughs> out here, uh, handed a couple of railroad spikes. This is a little bit later after my my rant video when I vented, and uh, I got it on. But YouTube's got it on hold right now. <laughs> I don't think they much liked it. So, so we'll see if you even got to see that one. But anyway, um, I got uh. Two railroad spikes. I've got a uh, liver eater that I gotta still do a little bit too. Might be too low. I'm gonna have to rip that a while ago. Got another liver eater trap spring. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of dark on this thing. I'm looking in the sun, man. You can spotlight it. <sighs> got the liver eater. Kind of just still do a few things, man. Nice little man. Like I've told people before, of all the knives, man, these hold for as far as hunting and fishing. Well, hunting especially, but a sidearm knife, man, the liver eaters are, would be my number one pick. I'm actually going to start doing a few probably with wood handles on them later. After I get all this stuff set up when it makes things a little bit, a little bit easier to do all that. Um, so I got that. Doing another, uh. I hope I get it done. We got a church key in here to do too, which is the old square knives. I think Eric, a buddy Eric in New Hampshire, I think's bought every one of those so far. So uh got one of them, then the two railroad spikes. I got one that sold from uh one that sold on IdahoHillbilly.com. Another order on there. And then another one for somebody that Kevin D works with. And then, once I do that, I got part of that filled up up above there. Once I get these, and I want to get these, uh, uh, I got this other little one too. A little mine spike that I'm working on in here too, I guess I'll show you it. This is from an old gold mine for the little rails for the gold carts. So yeah, it's just a little tiny spike down. I love them. Them ones are hard to get my hands on. They sell as fast as I get them. Whoa. And you can't even hardly hold on. Now. See? That's one thing is I gotta get it. Get my smaller anvil set up now. It's cooled off. So. Anyway, so man, that's what I'm doing out here. Um, I got the camera over there. I can't put it over here because the wind's blowing. It'd be too much wind noise. So, uh, I wanted to show a little bit of blacksmithing man as soon as i get this shop all dialed in man we'll start showing uh you know i'll be doing a lot more of the the knife stuff especially once i have the walls and get light because i'm gonna have lights you know and stuff in there so we can lighten it up for the deal we'll start doing uh a lot more um we we'll do a segment and then i'm actually wanting to do a uh i call it bush or a woodcraft but bushcraft we're gonna do uh, some bushcraft knives, and then I'm gonna start doing a series of, you know, my, you know, my how I, what I consider bushcraft. So I grew up calling it woodcraft, you know, because of Foxfire books and everything. So the bushcraft thing is, I got to get used to that. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna start doing our thing of bushcraft. You know, I'll probably show some making us some. Uh, Twig furniture and lodgepole stuff and knives and you know I'm not gonna I can light the fire with the flint and steel and do all that and you know 50 trillion other people on YouTube can too so I'm not gonna go and do the same you know all the same stuff that everybody's doing I'm just gonna do my do my own thing but hopefully we'll get a series of that going too so anyway I'm gonna keep working on these knives and we'll check back in here in a bit. Here's a little, still working out here. Still gotta finish this up, man. Look at that little baby. 
Very cute. I love, love them. That one's gonna turn out nice. Still gonna keep pounding. <laughs> but uh, about to click back in here. Um, ended up having to do a couple other things in the process of all there. So then I had to scope fire back up and get her get her going. We're uh, coming along. Actually heating up the heating up the handle on that one, getting ready to twist the handle on that one. And this other one here. I'm trying to gotta get it, really get it ripping. Because I'm still trying to see the redness, but I'm still trying to work down this back side here. And uh, you know the the new anvil and there's the Got a pound of point onto it still, but there's the damn dude. Next church key, if I can get my dang next church key right there, getting ready to do some hoorah with it. But uh, yes, I have three irons in the fire. I actually have four, but that one I ain't done it. What I do is, man, I heat up the one, especially the railroad spikes, man. I can be working on a church key and a lighter one and um, you know, stuff that doesn't take quite as long to heat up, and then it just heats up the railroad spikes real nice. You know, because you're sitting there cranking, cranking, you get that one up to the temp you want it to, or the color, you know, you watch the colors. And once you get that one up, man, that one's still just sitting there cooking. You gotta be careful though, man. I have, uh, I have burnt stuff up doing that before. But anyway, so I went in there because I had to get this fire stove back up. And uh, went in to check eBay and got a notification from my friends, the Alabama Pickers, uh, Dusty and Tristan. Man, if you want to see some real, go get them, freaking eBay. Um, and that video that he just posted, I haven't got to watch the whole thing. I just started it. I love those two. Um, but, man, he was showing his thing. He hasn't got to talk about it. And I'll watch it after I'm done with these knives. But uh, he did uh, $17,000 this month, I think. So you want to watch a real um, reseller, real on eBay? Go watch uh, Dusty Tristan. Go watch this. Dusty just lives it. You know what I mean? Yeah, not that I wouldn't like to make 17,000 bucks in a month. Except that would, uh, holy smokes, man. That would be, uh, that would be phenomenal. <laughs> That'd be great. You know, that, my problem, I mean, he, they, man, that dude lists something. If you don't know, if you've never checked him out, the Alabama Pickers, man, I mean, he's listed all the time, man, and he's got just gobs of, uh, gobs of stuff on and man he'll then he teaches a lot you can go back on his older videos you know and really get into it because they've been doing videos for a long time they don't do uh as many now but they still do them but anyway and he's on the beard picker show sometimes <laughs> he gets his butt out of bed <laughs> but uh anyway uh you want to see some real you know you can get on there and a lot of them ebay uh you know, eBay, YouTube stuff, you know, they brag and they talk and they show and, you know, all this. And they don't show like he just showed his, uh, you know, his main page for eBay. You know, there's no BS, man. No BS, Dusty. He's really doing it. And then old BP, Bearded Picker, I don't know how well he's doing on eBay right now. I know he's been doing a lot more eBay lately. But, uh, and he's the one for Amazon. That's the dude that's really doing it when it comes to Amazon, but. Check out the Alabama Pickers. Of course, the Bearded Picker. I've been missing their show because I've been getting up too dang late. This you know, don't get dark till 10 o'clock, so I'm out here working, pounding knives and all that till dark. So I haven't been getting up till well, I can't say that. I was up to 6:30 this morning. There's no fruit. There was nothing on this morning. So anyway, man, I will uh, try to finish these knives up and then show them. I haven't been showing too much of the pound it out um, like I said when I get this all dialed in here and 
a lot more set up. You know, we'll go through a whole, you know, do some another knife. So, man, I filmed uh, so many railroad spike knives. I know people like watching them, but uh, I'm just trying to get these babies done so I can get on with it. So I'm gonna do these, twist them, and I'll probably show them after I get them cleaned up. All right, just finished up with these uh, knives. Um, about time for dinner, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and show these. So we got one of the uh, one of the railroad spike knives. Ooh, it pretty, man. Rip out. Well, those that one's sold. There's another railroad spike knife. Like I said, man, when I'm making these things, they pretty much just take on their own life, and I follow the pattern. You can see the difference there. And that uh, both of them are sold. This one, uh, <laughs> man, it turned out so awesome. Sorry, man, it's already spoken for too. That one just happened when uh, I was making it. Then we got another church key, man. This is one of those square nails from. Uh, um, the old church in the town up the road, an old church in Council, Idaho. One of the square nails from that, so we're calling that one the church key. That one will be on. There we go, Eric. <laughs> He's bought like I don't have any of these. He's bought every one of these I've made. So far. then we got a liver eater. Love my liver eaters, man. Sharp little mother. And that's it, man. So I got, man, I got five that uh, pretty much took up the day today. So, but I got that accomplished, so I can move on to the next. Now I'm just gonna go sit my, my butt and recline and eat me some homemade chili. Oh, and I did get the, it's all roughed in too. Raven's beak, I've got a lot of work still left. So I'm gonna get these all wrapped up, get the couple, uh, I guess out of the five, I only got two to list. So we'll get those listed, and then uh, I'm gonna go watch me some. I'm gonna go watch me some out of the band Pickers, man. <laughs> me and Miss Kitty, I just told her when I went in there, I was all, man, we gotta watch that. Cause, uh, like I said, man, you wanna watch a real uh, a couple of real e bears that ain't just all talk that are really doing it, man. You check out check out uh, uh, Tristan and Dusty, and. 17 grand, man. I just been thinking, pondering that the whole time I've been sounding it, man. 17 grand in a month? Holy crap, man. The way I live, man, I would be rich. <laughs> so, good Lord willing, and the cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow.